This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hello and welcome back to channel Tea Lovers. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and also do not forget to click on our bell icon for our latest update. If you are totally new viewers on this channel, then our channel provides you the free domain, free hosting, free BCC card and many method how you can own the digital currency. If you got any problem related to any topic of my video or if you need any support regarding adsense approval or monetization, then you can directly contact on Tea Lover 2054 in the Instagram or you can join the Telegram channel from the link in the description below. Without wasting time, let's move for the today's content. So in the content of today, I'll teach you how you can get the free EDU mail for your GitHub student pack. So if you are planning to get the Azure for the free, if you are planning to get the GitHub developer pack for the free, then this video will be very important for you because we are going to get the free EDU mail from this video. So do not skip any part of this video. However, I have already made a number of video regarding this topic. You can go through my channel and you can find a number of video regarding this. Okay, so please watch them also. And if you just got any problem, any confusion regarding this video or any videos on my channel, then you can contact on tlover2054 in the Instagram that I have shown in the screen so that I can help for you for the free support, okay? And this is my website tloverofficial.com by which you can get a lot of knowledge related to tech and technology. So please subscribe to the website and channel to get the latest technology knowledge, okay? So we'll just begin for the today's topic and in this video, we'll just apply for a new knowledge to get the free edu mail. So for that, we'll just go for the website that I'll just show for you and you have to just go for the new tab of your browser and here you have to just type the TJC right over here, okay? So please go for the source and then you will find a Tyler Junior College on the second source result which is a college in the Texas, okay? So we'll just go for this college. So here you can just see that this is the interface of this college and this is the home page of this college by which you can apply for this college and get the edu mail okay so do not skip any part of this video and follow my tutorial to get the edu mail at the last okay so maybe this video will be longer if this video will be longer i'll make second part for this video so please subscribe to the channel to get the second part also so just scroll down and go for the apply now option or if you just scroll up then there is option for the apply now so please click on this apply now link to go further for this website okay so just click on this apply now so here you need to provide your login id and pin to continue or login for this website so here we do not have the login id and pin so we'll just create an account on this website so for that we'll just click on the first time user account creation so please click on this link and then you will find this type of id okay so you'll be redirected to this page where you have to just create an account so for login detail you have to just go for this website which will provide you the address and other detail so here you have to just copy the name of this person so you have to just use the full name of this person that is first name and last name first letter okay so a and h will be the first letter so we'll just go for here and provide the a and h okay after that you have to just go for the accession number so here you can find the accession number please copy the last four digits and you have to just go for the again for the website and paste over the login id okay after that please go for the create pin and you have to just provide the pin over here go for the notepad and save this detail because you will just need this item later also okay so just copy this item on the notepad and we'll just save this detail so that we can use this detail again further if we need this okay so just paste this detail so please save this file and after you just save this file you have to just save this page also so that you need this page later and it is very easy to access this page again okay or you can just save this page only okay now we'll just go for the login we have just created the six digit pin and the login id and please just click on this login so that your account will be created okay so finally when you just create an account on this website you will find this type of interface where you can apply for the application so here you can just see for the freshman application we'll just click on the continue because we do not want to make any other changes over here so please click on the freshman go for the continue then you have to just provide the admission term so please check for the summer intake and here we'll just provide the first name and last name okay so for that we'll just use the detail of this website and we'll just paste over there okay so you can see that we have successfully provided the detail we'll just go for the fill out application once you just go for it then you will find this type of interface where you have to just provide all the information all together there are nine pages over here okay so you have to just fill up all these details so we'll just go for the first address and phone so just click over it and you have to just provide the all the information of permanent address Okay. So we'll just use the address from here, okay? 
So please select the state as it exists. As you can see that we have successfully filled up this all details from this website. But here we have to just provide some manual data. So here we'll just click over here and it has just asked how long have you lived at this address. So here we'll just provide nine years and after that we'll just go for the continue. So finally you will be redirect to the next page that is mailing page. So here you have to just again provide the mailing address also. So please fill up that as before. Okay. Finally, we have just fill up this mailing address also. This is the checklist too. We'll just, so finally, we have to just provide the citizenship over here. Okay. So this is the personal information. So here you have to just provide the citizenship as a resident. So you will just click on the US citizen. Then we have to just provide the email address but this email address should be your okay so because you will receive the mail in your email so we'll just go for our mail and we'll just copy our mail okay so here you have to just re-enter your email address and here you have to just provide the accession number so here you can just get the accession number over this website and please copy the accession number and this should not contain any symbol okay so we'll just remove all the symbol over here so we'll just go for this personal detail and update the accession after that we have to just go for the male or female so please check your this address gender is male or female so after that you can just go for your respective gender that you have just used from the address and here you have to just scroll down and you can just leave this because this is not mandatory so we'll just go for the mandatory option so here you have to just provide the data port you can just update this from here also okay 1113 okay so just update here so it will be the first and this will be the 13 and the year will be 2000 okay now here you can just provide the cellular phone number so we have already used the cellular phone number like this so you can just go for the con so once you have just done this then you will just go for the emergency contact so here you can just click for the re emergency contact and just provide some random username over here okay please provide the last name so this will be your last name but your first name should be unique one okay so you can just provide the first name uh, as you like and you just scroll down provide the state as a text tax again and we'll just provide the zip code as the same that we have previously provided and this will be your phone number also okay now we'll just go for the continue again now we are on the five checklist and here you have to just provide the detail of your high school so here in this option you have to just provide the high school detail and here you can just see the high school code it so you need this high school code so here you can just see the home school there is online high school and texas gd okay so here we'll just provide this code and we are from the texas so we'll just copy this code and after that we'll just copy and paste over here okay once you just paste over this then you have to just go for the new tab and just type for the Texas high school okay so please go for the high school then you will find some high school name on the google okay so there is a texas high school we'll just copy this texas high school uh, from the google and paste over here so here you have to just provide the high school history so we'll just copy the high school history also over here so please click on this high school detail and you can find the detail of this high school okay so this is the address copy this address and we'll just provide this address over here so this is will be the uh, this will be the street address then we'll just go for the high school city so that will be texas so please click on this uh the city is lender also so you can just search for the city also so you can find the city over here so this is the city and after that you can just continue over here okay uh, now we'll just scroll down and provide the zip code so here is the zip code can just copy this zip code over here so this is the zip code copy it and we'll again paste over this high school so finally this all are not mandatory let's go down and here you have to just provide the are you currently at any high school home school we'll just click on the no then we'll just go for the continue finally we are in the six item so here you have to just provide some information but all this information are not mandatory so we'll just skip the item and scroll down and go for the continue again so in this seven page you have to just choose for your study plan so please click on this change this program and you can just select any of the program or you can just continue over here but if you just continue then they might think that you have just not choose the actual subject so just select any subject that is before for the online examination okay so here you'll just click on this computer science and just go for the continue once you just click on the continue then you will just go for the same page and here you can just scroll down and here you have to just provide some information which is very correct okay so please fill up this detail as i have done in this screen okay so here you can just see that i have just fill up some detail which are mandatory and i have just skip other part so you can just skip from this option so just scroll down and go for the continue and finally we will be on the ninth of this checklist and here you have to just provide some information okay 
So here you have to just provide some reasonable answers. So my primary reason for attending JCG is for the we'll just provide the four over here and please uh, what is your highest degree completion? We'll just click on the high school degree. Okay, so we'll just click on the seven and go for the continue. Once you just go for the continue, then you will be redirected to this page where you can just see that all the information are filled up and it has been ticked as a okay. Okay. Now we'll just click on the submit application and submit this application so that we'll just get the edu mail from this website okay we'll just click on the submit application and you have to just click on the i agree to the term you can just read the policies and term over here and please click on the i agree to the term and finally you have successfully applied for this college and you will receive the mail in your gmail to activate this account okay so we'll just go for the mail but it will just take time to get your mail it might take up to 24 hours to get your mail and once i have just received this mail i'll make a separate video regarding this topic because this video will be longer so this video will be longer so just click on the return to application menu and you can just see that we have successfully fill up this detail okay so this is our freshman application for the admission of the summer and we'll just get the edu mail with the help of this so please keep all the detail you have just fill up over here you may record the screen while fill up this data so that it will be very easier on the letter to activate this account okay so once i'll just receive the mail i'll be again back with you bringing the second part of this video where you can just activate this mail and with the help of this mail we'll just take the benefit from the student github pack so this is how you can get the apply for the edu mail and get the edu mail in 2024 and this method will 100 percent work if you got any problem any confusion you can contact on tlover2054 in this up. i'll be again back with you bringing second part or next part of this video after i get the mail and if you still got any confusion or problem then you can contact over here till our official channel like share and subscribe will value for your support thanks for watching this video thank you